Hey guys, Teacher Emily here with VIP Kid. I've had two referrals in the last three weeks get invited to do the express interview process. Don't mind my child back here ripping all of our clothes out of the dresser. Oh, gotta love it. Um, anyway, so I've had two referrals get invited to do the express interview process and they're having trouble finding videos um, to help them along. And I just went through this. I got hired at the very end of November, like like end of November, beginning of December, like maybe December 1st. And I didn't realize that this was a new process then, but I got invited to do this. Um, take this with a grain of salt. I don't know if this had anything to do with it, but after my application process, I was really busy, obviously, and um, waited a couple days to do the interview. And within that time, I was invited to do the express interview. So I don't know if procrastination helped me there or if it just somebody went back and looked at, you know, my credentials and thought, hey, maybe she should do the express interview. I'm not sure what the qualifications are for that, but I did get invited to do it after waiting a couple of days. So um, after you apply and you get, you know, the OK that you're exactly what we're looking for is what my email said. Um, you get invited to do the express interview, hopefully. And this is much easier than the actual interview. My referrals that go through the actual interview, it's completely different than the express interview. And I didn't know that um, because I did express. So what you're going to do is first, they're going to send you all the information that you need. My daughter is destroying this room that I'm in. It's our guest room. Um, you're going to get an email with all of the information that you're going to have to teach, that you're going to be in charge of, and you're going to read through everything, and then you're going to take a seven-question quiz. You'll pass it. It's super easy. And then you'll be invited to record your demo. You you can record it as many times as you want um, until you're happy with it. I only did one take on mine because I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, I didn't edit it at all. I just took one take and went with it. I was in pajamas, well, pajama bottoms with like ah, just a yeah. shirt on, like I am right now too. And um, always, <laughs> always in pajama bottoms now that I work for VIP Kid. Um, like yoga bottoms, actually. Hi, baby. Um, anyway, so I did it in front of my Christmas tree. Mm. That was my background. This is why I do VIP Kid, so I can stay home and clean up messes after my little munchkin. <laughs> Say hi. Um, anyway, so hi, yeah, good. So what you're going to do, you're going to take that quiz and then you're going to record your demo. So on your demo, they want you, they want it to be like less than five minutes. So you're going to record a little intro. You're going to introduce, she's taking my props, the word bicycle, which apparently has changed. It used to be bike and now it's bicycle. And then you're going to introduce the letter M. So that's it. It's short and sweet. They don't want it any longer than five minutes. So I'm just going to show you what I did. I'm um, just <laughs> moving everything as far as I can where I can still reach it and she's not going to grab it. Um, so here, fresh slate. Hello, my name is Teacher Emily and I am a teacher. That is not a good intro. Let me start over. Bloop, bloop, bloop. This is where you get to record it several times, okay? So I would not have used that as my intro. So I would say... Hello, my name is Teacher Emily and I live in Texas. I have a one-year-old daughter. I'm married to a cowboy in Texas. I graduated with a Bachelor's of Science uh, from Sol Ross State University. I majored in elementary education and I minored in special education. And I taught junior high science for three years in the public school setting. I had several ESL students um, each year that I taught. I would say about 15 total. They were all Spanish speaking. I didn't know how to speak Spanish. They didn't know how to speak English. And I had to get the point across of what I was teaching. Um, so that's my experience with children. So once you introduce yourself, you are going to introduce the word bicycle. So I would say, oh, using TPR. I didn't know what TPR was or what it stood for, but it's hand motions and body language. You're not, you know, this is a bicycle. You ride a bicycle. You're not explaining a lot with words. You're using hand motions and pictures. Okay, so I would say, 
bicycle. And you want them to repeat it back to you. Bicycle. Bicycle. What do you see? And they might say bike, they might see bicycle. You're trying to get them to say, I see a bicycle. If they don't, you're gonna say, I see a bicycle. And try to get them to repeat that back to you. So you say bicycle a few times, maybe show them a picture or a drawing. Um, get them to say, I see a bicycle. She's saying it, kind of. We don't really know what she's saying. So after you introduce, I see a bicycle, you introduce your bicycle, you're gonna introduce the letter M. So luckily, I have these note cards. So I would say, mmm, mmm, M. M. Big M. Small M. Say small, not little. I'm from Texas and we use, you know, big and little all the time. And I got in trouble in one of my mocks for saying little because it's incidental language. They don't know what little is, they know big and small. So introduce big letter, introduce small letter, introduce the sound that M makes, and then you're gonna go, I didn't have a stuffed mouse, I raided my daughter's room and she didn't have a stuffed mouse in there. So I had this book that makes sounds and I flipped to the mouse page, I had it already marked so I didn't have to flip through it, and I said, mouse. Mouse. And then this plays a little noise. Mouse. 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 Okay, and then you're going to introduce elephant. 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 Good job. And you're pretending to teach. No one. So it's going to be really weird, but it'll be okay. You'll, you'll get used to it. You do this in your mocks too. You teach an adult pretending to be a child, which is even stranger than talking to no one like I'm doing right now all the time, just talking to no one. Okay. And then you're going to introduce monkey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, 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 ah. Monkey. Monkey! Good! Okay, and then you're going to try to get them to figure out which one starts with M and which one doesn't start with M. So you're going to have a slide that looks like this, but instead of the words, it's going to have pictures of a mouse, an elephant, and a monkey with the letter M at the bottom. So you would go, mmm, mmm, mouse? Mm, mouse? Good. Mouse starts with M. Good job. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing with elephant. Mmm. Elephant? Mmm. Elephant? Eh, eh. Elephant. No, mmm. And then the same thing with monkey. Mmm. Monkey? Yeah. She knows. Mmm, monkey. Good job. And that's all you're going to do. You can make one of these and you can like circle mouse, no. circle monkey, cross out elephant if you want, but they're going to get it. Um, so that's basically it. On bicycle. So you're going to you're going to show a picture. You're going to explain I see a bicycle. Do your TPR with your seeing. You can even pretend like you're riding a bicycle. 
Um, my daughter has a tricycle. I could have brought that in and like shown it in front of the camera. Just whatever you feel like you need to do to get the point of bicycle across. They know what it is. They just need to learn to say what it is in English. So if you have any questions, this was not the greatest video. Hopefully someone will make a better one and put it out there so you guys can get a little bit better idea of passing the express interview process. But like I said, my referrals were having a hard time finding what to do on this. And in your interview process, you're brand new and you don't really know what's going on. I didn't watch a single YouTube video before my interview because there weren't any. Like, this was a brand new program. So if you have questions or you need help getting through this process, check out my referral link below. Feel free to email me. I am always available to answer questions, except when I'm taking care of this one, which is all the time. Oh, okay. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. bye.